I've been very fortunate. Uh, I get to work in a lot of genres. I get uh, songs to mix from all over the country, and uh, I, one week it can be, you know, a very modern pop, uh, heavy rock. It can be jazz, Broadway, bluegrass. I mean, you name it. I never know what I'm going to get, and I love it that way. Uh, but that's actually one of the strengths of having iconic pieces, you know, like a 480 in my toolbox, is that I can fit classic sounds, but those sounds are still just as relevant today. Um, so what I thought I would do, I just mixed a, a jazz thing just a couple of weeks ago, as a matter of fact, and I used um, the trumpet is, is, is a lead element. And to me, man, when you get into the jazz world and you start thinking about, you know, trumpets, uh, saxophones, you know, kind of leading the way, right? They're, they're the voice, if you, if you will, during solos and things. You know, like what would that music even be without the sound of, of, of a 480 plate? I mean, to me, that's, that's a big part of the sound of the genre. And so let me hear, let you hear what I've got going on. Uh, that day I pulled up the uh, fat plate and I got about a second and a half um, uh, decay time and a short, very short pre-delay. Uh, I want, you know, it's, there's not a lot of the dry signal coming through before it kicks into reverb, okay? guy's playing his tail off okay so that that's the record as it released but um, what I'd like to show you is that uh, you know sometimes when the the you know whether it's a vocal or whether it's an instrument whatever is out front whatever's the lead I, I'll get more complex and I'll stack reverbs and delays and um, you know maybe I'll use a short something short like an ambience patch a small room or, or a small plate and that's kind of the the you know the the entry uh, of the ambience and then I'll follow that with a longer plate or a hall or something like that, that sometimes, you know, it stays static, of course, the combination of the two. But a lot of times what I do is in the choruses or, or during solos or something, I'll pull up the longer patch, you know, when the music gets bigger and denser and needs more, you know, more uh, movement and air around uh, the vocal, the lead source. So now in version four, we can actually, let me bypass the one that made the record and bring up this patch that I just made. It's hot off the presses. And what you can do here, because the new version four is dual engine, uh, you can go to engine one and pull up your, your short patch or, or you know your, your first patch. In my case, um, you can see that um, I pulled up uh, Ambience, a uh, patch that I love. Uh, I use that a lot on, on, on lexicon units. And on engine two, I loaded up a plate. And uh, the plate has a decay time of a second and a half and a pre-delay of 60 milliseconds. So it takes a, a minute for that to kick in. On engine one, on the ambience, I have um, um, about 800 milliseconds uh, and the decay time, uh, I mean, the, um, I have a little pre-delay on there as well. So let me let you hear them in action together and you'll hear you know, how a, a stacked reverb can, can create some, some density and, and some cool um, drama. Okay, cool. Now let me show you how um, you know each one of them sounds on their own. So what I can do is, is uh, first of all, I should tell you that if you know, you know, you, you can enter setup and under the configurations page, you can route these different ways. You know, in parallel, uh, a different one on the left and the right, which is very cool. Um, you know, you can do you can do various things. So it's 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 extremely versatile. Um, but what you can do here in the um, in the, the density tab. And see right here, uh, this number 160 LEV, um, that's full on. 160 in lexicon, you know, in that world w was full, full blast. So let me mute engine one so you hear just kind of the, 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 re the, um, the plate, the, the longer with the pre-delay, okay? Okay, that's what that guy sounds like. So we'll turn that back up and we'll go to engine two and we'll turn it off and we'll hear the ambience patch. And now one more time, a combination of the two, and using, using this knob, I, you know, in the box here, you know, it, within one plug-in, I can adjust the levels of the two, okay? So here's the two together at equal power.
so I get those, I get that small room uh, reflection and the bright, um, you know, um, early reflection stuff. But then I also have that tail behind it. So um, that, anyway, that's some of the power that's built into the new dual engine version four. Um, but you know, so that's a timeless piece of music. You know, you think, oh wow, that, you know that, yeah, that's what we think of when we think of that 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 particular unit. The thing is, these sounds are uh, they're just as relevant today. So I just did a, a mix for a, um, a pop artist out of F Philadelphia, um, Hello McKenzie, and um, it's very hip, very current, and you know it's all over the, that album, all over her vocal, and it sounds just as, as cool as anything. So let's dive into that now. All right, this is a really cool song, and I did, uh, uh, at the time, I didn't have uh, version 4 yet. I had version 3 only, so I used two reverbs. Uh, if I had it you know, to do all over again using version 4, uh, I, I may do the dual engine thing, but let me show you what you know the two patches that I used. So um, uh, one of my presets that's available if you get this or if you have this, you go into the signature presets under the Joe Carroll folder, vocal ambience, and that's a great one. Um, it works on a lot of a lot of pop productions for me. It, it, it's just a great on verses. You know, it doesn't create too much thickness, uh, but the, the vocal isn't. You know, it sounds like it still sounds like a record. It's not um, underbaked, so to speak. So I've got that going a little more in the verses, and then um, underneath that is the auto park under the halls tab, and I've got that much longer. You'll see that um, it's about a three second decay time with a pre delay of about 60 milliseconds. The short um, um, the short ambience patch is uh, just over a second. All right, so let's hear those two in action on the chorus, okay? As well as my delays, that you hear some delays bouncing around, those are being fed back into these reverbs. My short delay will be fed into the short reverb. My longer delays will be fed into the longer reverb. So let me uh, play one at a time. I'll mute the long guy, and I'm going to mute the uh, all the effects other than the short ambience patch. I'll let you hear that on a vocal. And I'll let me go to the verse. We can really hear that. Light a candle in the darkness. Dance around under the harvest moon. Did you know that you can make things happen with just a little bit of magic? That's the sound of ambience, and that had a little delay moment, as you can hear, right where I put, right where I pushed stop. Uh, but let me go up to the the um, the um, chorus here. And I'll let you hear just the long guy, just the long guy. The craft, the blackest cat, the shadows cast, the flight upon a broom. That's the way that guy sounds. The craft, the blackest cat, the sh That's awesome. And then I'll, I'll put the two uh, together. The craft, the blackest cat, the shadows cast, the flight upon a broom. All right, very cool. Now let me put the delays in with it, and the de uh, again the delays are feeding into these verbs. The craft, the blackest cat, the shadows cast, the flight upon a broom. It is a white or black. There's more than that. I'll fight to tell the truth. It is a wickedness. So there you have it. That's a couple of the ways that I typically use these uh, on lead vocals or in lead instruments. Um, uh, stacked, you know, two, two different sounds. And these are some of my favorite patches, you know. And, and uh, honestly, again, I just do not ever want to live in a world <laughs> where, where the 480 uh, patches are not part of my toolbox. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.